Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we are gonna check in our code on GitHub repo and we'll see how we can start using the GitHub repo as the place to check out the code and start working from there. I mean, you can do the same exact thing from here moving forward using the GitHub. You can have your own repository like GitHub or GitLab or uh, like Bitbucket or whatever you or really like to go with, but the process is gonna remind the same like whatever platform that you really use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my Edge Chrome browser uh, where I'm just gonna navigate to uh, GitHub of executeautomation.com. So within this executeautomation.com, I actually have got many repositories. Uh, so today I'm gonna create a new repository, which is gonna be our Selenium uh, C Sharp uh, Netcore project. And then I'm just gonna make this as, the, I'm just gonna give a description over here. I'm just gonna call this a Selenium C Sharp dot net core three dot one basic course repo and i'm going to make this as public so that you can have have the access as well i'm going to add a readme file and then i'm just going to create a repository pretty easy uh, to do and once i do that uh, i can then do a clone of this repo and then i can start working so you can use a, a open with code space i don't really have access to that you can uh, open a GitHub desktop if you have already, you can do that. Or you can also open Visual Studio Code if you have, uh, you can do that as well. Or you can use the command line to do that. Uh, so whatever works for you, you can go with any one of them. Like these are the options that you have got. So whatever works for you, you can go with that. Uh, I mean, I really like the GitHub desktop. You can just go ahead and uh, install that. So there's something called as GitHub our desktop this is a very very simple naive tool i really really like that because it has all the options that you really require to get started with so installing github desktop is something over here you can download it for uh, for your machine and then you can start working from there i already have the github desktop installed within my machine i think i have not updated it for a while uh, now but it is super easy and super simple to work with so these are my repos which is really coming through. So now I'm just gonna do go and I'm just hitting on an add and clone repository. And I'm just gonna search for uh, Selenium C Sharp Netcore. I think this is the one we just created. So I'm just gonna choose this guy. I'm gonna clone the repository. So that simple it is. I mean, you can do a git clone of the repository name, uh, repository URL, or this is the easiest way to get started if you're pretty new to git and all those kind of things. I'm just gonna hit this show to Explorer, which brings me up this guy uh, in a folder location. Uh, and then I can go to our project and I can just right click open the folder in the file explorer. And now I actually need to check in all these code into GitHub. So which means I need to copy paste all the codes that I have got over here, like all these, this whole code. I'm just gonna copy them and I'm gonna go to the project over here. I'm just gonna paste on this particular repo folder. Yeah. And I think I missed one more thing, which is the um, which is the, the git ignore file. It's all right, we can add it later as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna go here to the desktop, the GitHub desktop, and you can see that all my codes comes in, which I have written so far. And now I can just do a initial commit until uh, combo controls. So that's the first initial commit that we are gonna do uh, to the main branch. So Microsoft has changed the way of calling it as like a master branch. They call it as like a main branch right now. So there is no more uh, master branch itself. That option is gone. In just recently and then I'm gonna push this to the origin which means to the master branch it is just pushing all the code there so if you just go to the uh, to the repo and if you refresh this time you can see that it's starting to add this in 28 seconds we just started to add things over there 
things all pushed right now so all my code which we wrote all these days are actually sitting in our github repo uh, or the main branch uh, and then it has all these codes. It has the object bin file, which is not correct way of doing it uh, because you don't really have to check in those codes at least. Uh, but all the code that we wrote is all sitting over here, which is pretty good. So this is how you can actually start working with it. And now once you do that, you can then open your project on that location rather uh, working with this location so that you can check in the so that I can check in the code moving forward from there. So if I just open this location, you can see that I'm going to open from there. So once I open from there, you can see that it shows me the main branch, which means it tells me that this is the main branch which I'm working with. And you can see there is a lock coming through, which means this code is not modified yet. It has been locked. But once you start modifying it, the lock will be gone. And then you can start modifying the code and check in uh, the code from there. For example, over here, just for the test, let's say if I just want to Mm, remove this console.line line just gonna save it so once I do that you can see there is a tick mark there which means the code is updated we need to check in this particular piece of code it's been modified so now I can go to an option called team explorer in my Microsoft's Visual Studio which is pretty cool it is so intelligent that the team explorer which tells me that this is where uh, all the details are looking uh, sitting so once I do a changes here, you can see that it tells me that there is a change on the unit test one dot CS file. I don't really have to include this changes, so I can probably ignore this local item. And also I can ignore the uh, bin file uh, as well. And this object file is also something I do want to do that into changes this one. And this is the only one which you really need to check in. So I'm going to say added the, I mean, removed the console dot right line code for test. Now commit that code. I'm going to sync it so that it's going to sync on the, with a branch, uh, with my local branch. And then I need to push that to my main branch which is not the right way of doing it but i'm just doing it for now so once i push that uh, over here you can see that this bigger line of code is going to go to uh, my repo and now if i go over here you should see that initial commit and then there is a removed console.write line code for test code uh, and and then the whole check-in has been done successfully for us. So, which means everything is working fine as expected, right? So this is how you can do a code check-in and check-out uh, in the repo, which we have did right now. Starting our next video, we'll use this repository and this project to start uh, checking in the code and work from there. Meet you in our next video.